Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. Right, Gemini, this is your love reading for the next three months. Oops. I don't do flying cards. So, how's the next three months looking for you, Gemini? I've got an itchy nose. This means I'm channeling. Really itchy face around here and itchy nose when something big's coming in. Right, Gemini. Next three months for you. Let's have a look. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. And blah, 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 blah. And all the stuff I say about that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, we've done the YouTuber stuff. Let's get on with the reading. Gemini for the next three months. Ooh, no, wait, hang on a minute. There's something else. It was almost ready there, but it's the next shuffle. There we go, sorry. Mm -hmm. Overall vibe, got the six of pentacles in reverse next three months so what's been going on somebody hasn't been giving back so you've you've kind of been doing all the giving here and not getting much in return someone who you're very much in love with as well someone who you are they are beautiful to you nobody knows me the way that you do how you feel about them. They're beautiful to you, but they're not giving you anything back. You're just the one that's giving. You adore this person. You have them on a pedestal. And they they have nothing to give you. They, they don't give you anything back. It reminds me of a time where I was with somebody and um, I gave them everything I had, everything, I gave them everything and uh, it came to Christmas time and he got me nothing. And it's not about spending money on someone. He said, oh, I'm skint, I didn't have any money. And I was like, well, you could have written me a song. You could have drawn me a picture. You could have, I don't know. So many things you could have done that cost no money at all. Write a song, anything, you know. Done me a play. I have created a play for you. This is your Christmas present. I have created something. It is called, I don't know, The King. I made it up on the spot. Literally just made it up on the spot. If he it couldn't be bothered. But no, nothing. And I was giving him everything. And I was sort of like, wow. I know it's trivial, and it's a Christmas present, and I'm not really, you know, but something. Folded over a piece of paper and drawn a smiley face on it that was a freaking car. <laughs> and, and, and effort. <laughs> Anything. Nothing. And it sort of feels like you're kind of putting everything out there. Giving this person everything you've got, and uh... I feel like they have something to offer you, but they're not giving it to you. What is that? I want to keep it to myself. I don't want to give it to you yet. What is it? I'm sorry, that's my dryer saying, ah, oh, I'm too hot.
This person hasn't told you that they love you yet, I think. And you're starting to spiral a little bit. Okay. I don't see this going very well, to be honest with you. Let's see what we can do about it. Sort of feels like some sort of bad news is coming in about this. What is it? They don't want to. They don't want to give you something. I feel like it's love. I feel like it's like even just them saying I love you. They don't want to give it to you. Something's coming in that if it doesn't kill you. It's going to make you stronger. So it's going to hurt. It's going to make you recoil. Ugh. Pull back. It's going to hurt. You love this person and your 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 energy after that is i am not giving you any more of me i've given you everything i've put you on a pedestal you've given me nothing except this and this is it's bad news some bad news coming in what's the come on just stop messing around what's the bad news let's prepare you for it what's the bad news They're in love with somebody else, that's why they can't give it to you. You're going to find out. They, they're not with this person. That's the really stupid thing is they're not actually with this person. This person doesn't want them. Um, you're going to find out like... I'm seeing it. You seeing something over their shoulder, something they're doing over their shoulder. What are you doing? What's that? Oh, it's too obvious to gaslight you. And if they try, you're like, try getting out of that. They don't want them though. You're, this is going to end your relationship. It's the final straw for you. It's like you, you've put everything into this relationship and you just keep feeling this. I don't know. I, ca I can't tell whether it's like icy cold or burning hot fever of rejection it's, it's kind of a little bit a little bit of both you kind of feel like icy cold and then it's like oh the rejection you just keep feeling rejected by this person they're giving nothing back and uh it's just this final thing you see something over their shoulder they're looking at something and they can't they can't deny it How I'm picturing it is they're sitting on a sofa and you see over their shoulder they're looking at something. That's that's the image I've got. You're gonna leave. What's coming up in the near future? King of Wands. 
Now the king one tends to be a pretty good card, but in this deck, I think he's a smug beep. I'm not gonna swear. I don't like the king of ones in this deck. He, he's got a bit of a punchable face. Sitting there in his... Yeah, a bit punchable. Why is the king of ones here? This is uh, what you need to be aware of moving forwards. Smug. Don't go off the rails, babe. Of this don't let idiots have you you've got kind of choices here you can you can isolate yourself and be lonely not great you can go out and enjoy yourself be with your friends or you can let idiots into your life and start a pattern that's unhealthy. Or you can just... I just feel like with a draw from that and enjoy time with your friends, work, focus on learning new things, meeting new people. But I sort of feel like it's a few danger boys coming your way or girls you know don't let them in just because you're lonely they're smug idiots they don't deserve you tell me more unstable smug idiots as well I don't like them I sort of see you maybe perhaps a little bit, um, I get this thing here when there's fear in a reading, it's like a hiccupy energy, like I, I, I want to hiccup but it's like, and I try sometimes to try and like make the sound come out because it feels really uncomfortable but um, there's, you're afraid. I feel like you're afraid of giving somebody the power to hurt you again. So you you just don't. It could go one or two ways. You could either pull back completely and, and, and be too afraid to meet people. Or you could go way the other way and, and uh, take it too far and... and uh, I just... Uh, I sometimes feel like you have to be careful with whose energy you let that close to you because you take it on you hear reverence like a tarot reading so you're a spiritual person you're gonna be taking on someone else's energy so be careful i see the best you can hope for you're probably going to avoid it though till the right person comes along that's the better energy i see because you understand what i just said that you you don't want to take on somebody's energy but also you don't want to give someone the power over you to hurt you again so you wait until the right person comes along and you can have that you know your cup of love overflowing you know, a, a person who's, you know, a father figure, stable, someone who's, you know, got their feet on the ground. Got their head screwed on right. You're worried about the, the, the this is you, the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're worried about... Am I going to end up 
you know, being a cat person. I'm not gonna just end up being lonely. Is love not for me? And sort of anyone else who comes in when you've got that energy is just going to give up on you very quickly. So you don't want to bring that energy. You want the right person to come along. Tell me about them. So my chair is squeaking against my radiator. Just don't give up on love completely. That's that's the advice on you know someone else coming into your life. Don't give up on love completely. Don't put that energy out there because there is a you know seven billion people on planet Earth. There's going to be someone who's right for you. There's somebody for everybody. Why is the magician in reverse for the outcome? Your wish fulfillment is delayed. It's coming, what you're looking for, balance in your life, all of that, your wish fulfillment, that's coming, but it's delayed. And the delay is how you're manifesting it. If you're not putting the right energy out there, well, I'm just gonna end up being a cat person and lonely and uh, nobody loves me, nobody wants to love me. I'm, I'm just not meant to be loved. I'm not a lovable, but all that, all that kind of thing. That's the wrong energy. You got to learn how to manifest. And the best way to do that is, you know, watch channels that do that kind of thing. I started watching, you know, uh, Esther Hicks, uh, what is it? Abraham Hicks. Uh, she goes off on these great rants, rampages that are super positive and make you feel like, yeah, let's go. Um, I always thought Jake Ducey was really great at that as well. I I put off watching his videos for a really long time because he just looked like some long-haired idiot. But never judge a book by his cover. He's actually really cool. Uh, or he was. I haven't watched him for a while. Um, yeah, his vids were really cool and and empowering and and motivational. I kind of think that that's sort of what you need right now, like watching things that are like people who are spiritually motivational. Uh, Aaron Doughty used, used to be really good at that. I, I don't know, he's kind of gone off on a weird tangent that I'm like, oh no, no, I'm going to give him a break for a while. But uh, yeah, he, he used to be pretty good at that whole manifesting cool stuff in to your life. Let's pull you... guidance look at the bigger picture for sure don't cut yourself off i think is is what we're saying here your love lyric is uh arctic monkeys do a one on own total tune do i want to know if this feeling falls both ways um, I'm going to take this into the extended. I'm going to ask for you guidance from the universe to, you know, when it, does it look like love's coming in for you and uh, what you can do for yourself to uh, get in the right energy for that. I'm not going to ask about anyone I've seen in this reading. I'm not interested. I don't think you should be either. Let them go. Move forwards. Um, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, if you want to watch the extended now, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. It's right there. Bye!